This is the Sportsman's Condo 4x4. This is their single man. And it's just big enough. It's just big enough for, you know, if you've got a stool and your rifle or bow sitting in there. Um, I got a piece of, of carpet and my scissors. I'm just going to cut out the corners and then cut off the extra there. All right, that's done. We're unloading the wood. We're going to put up a new deer tower right here. And this, it's the same big field from the house, but instead of having to take a 400 yard shot all the way across the field when they're up in this corner, we're going to put one of our deer towers right here. So I'm going to cut back some of these woods, some of the bushes here, right on the edge of the road here, and uh, set one up facing this way. And it's going to be pretty easy to get to. You just got to walk the house and come up the road here along the, the edge of the field. We'll have to watch the wind, but this should be a good spot. I think from here to the other side might be like, I don't know, maybe a 150-yard shot to the edge of the woods. So it's even doable with a muzzle loader. Or I'm going to drop it right up here and then tilt it up right here and tuck it in the woods. So we can get both in there. I'll take the weight off the, this side. You can do that side. Down. 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 Hold. 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 So the, Take your time. On the, on the legs, there's a hole. I mean, on the bracket, there's a hole. Galvanized lag bolt. Got it? Got it? Yeah. Any day now. What's the chances of having the wrong socket? Probably pretty good. I like letting it go. Where's the other side at? You can let it go. Are you sure? Yeah. Doesn't seem right. Going back. Down. Down. Good. Now, here's the problem with these things. If you go to put those top legs on, they go pointing way up in the sky. So what we've learned... See the hole, the wood in the hole. Yeah. It's our, oh, it's right here. It is all the way in. It's in? You can feel it. Okay. Can you put that in? I didn't realize I hurt my teeth in there, so I was still bleeding. Towards you. Oh, 
high. Higher. High and push. One, real high. One, two, three, in. Ah! <laughs> There's no more ground. All right, well, you come up here. Just hold it so I can bounce. Yeah, why don't you dogs get out from under it? I'm already trying to kill myself. I don't need to kill you. See the hole on your side? Yeah. You don't see any wood, do you? No. Okay. You gotta go up. There. That's in. That's not even touching. Screw her in. Now, extend that rope out all the way back into the woods. I thought I could just lift it up as she pulled, but it's still too heavy. So we got to use our cantilever board that we've done before for the other one. <laughs> we gotta well that worked that was a little bit scary because i thought it was going to go all the way over yeah, yeah these this these the front legs we, we got to get it way up here so it's kind of like downhill so when that sucker went up man these i didn't brace these front legs that thing went that way like four feet before it fell back down i thought it was going to crash down in the woods and just shatter but it's it stayed up Man, that thing is up there. So you could see it fell over as we were walking it up and up and up i guess because this right side was an angle it was leaning too far that way just a little bit man like a foot because it's so tall bloop right over into the woods so now we got the rope and we're going to try to pull it up sideways i've never done this before so it might go up and fall backwards down the hill but let's try it All right, we got it up the second time. I had to leave, you know, we sent a man to the moon back in the 60s, so we can figure this out. So what made it easier is right there on our leverage board, I drilled a hole 
through that so it wouldn't slip off left or right so once it once it cantilevered up it couldn't go like this and slide off but this ground is look how high up that is and our handy dandy little red stake. and our little red stake kept it from kicking out um the board from kicking out when it was lifting i've done that before I've like braced the legs before and it's worked but just a, another pro tip the manufacturer says do not use legs longer than 10 feet there's probably a reason and there's a reason for that so don't do what i'm doing because of the hill here we're trying to walk it this way because it's flatter this way and for some reason when we did it the first time I don't know if I lifted too high on my end and it tilted over. So we're going to watch what we're doing and we're going to leave that rope connected now to keep the tension on. So this is a big, uh, an anchor bolt it has like a little corkscrew at the end and if it's dirt you can kind of turn it down in there to anchor it because I'm going to put a cable on this eye hook and they weld a hoop on the bottom of it and if you get that tight down it'll hold it to the ground just another way to anchor it but these are like the biggest pain in the butt to try to get down especially if you hit a rock All right, we gave Miss Oxford 821 the easy job. All she's got to do is take these T posts and bang them four feet into the ground. I got to put And then we're just going to lash these legs with um, galvanized wire and screw onto this leg so that it don't pull out of the ground. I've done that to all my other ones so far. Put a, put a T post in the ground and then lashed it like a figure eight with a bolt through it so that with wire so it can't come off and then what i'm doing back here i'm cutting all the the ladders and i like some overhang in case you slide or you want to hang something on your way up i like some overhang and i just cut spacers and then i'm just going to get my next piece and put my next piece on there and it'll be perfect all the way up all right, we got the ladder all done, and she's checking for level. So what do we need here? That's how much the front has to come down. You see that? Okay, so the two front legs has to come down, and then how about left or right? And then the left side has to come down. Okay, so the two front legs, the two front legs got to get dug in, and that one more than that one. And I can kind of see that. I can kind of see it now because it, it looks like it's leaning back a little bit. So I probably got to... up here looking at it, it really looks like it's leaning back. Yeah. Okay. The big long one across the bottom is to keep it from doing this because it's basically a tripod and tripods are kind of unstable. The front legs kick out, but this one just goes straight down. So you put that long one across the bottom so it can't do this, like a, like a tripod would tip over. And then what I do is I bang a T-post all the way in and then I lash it to one of the legs so that it can't, it can't tilt up. So the back's not going to move, so we're going to dig the two front out. See how this goes. Okay. All right. How's it look? Pretty good. Yeah, it's off a little tiny bit, but good enough. Okay. How about the other direction? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Front and back is perfect. This left and right is off a little bit, but this leg I had to dig out like I don't know, 14 inches. This one maybe like 10 inches. I thought it was going to be worse than that. But uh, within an inch is good because it, it'll, it, the weight of itself will settle the, the rest of it. But that's, that's on there. I'm up in the blind. Nice carpet. And here's the view. This is the front window. The left is the, uh, the big barn in the field here. And to the right, you got the whole corner here. The little house is straight out. Right up the hill there is our 
bare target. Now the right one, the right view is in wintertime would be, there's a deer trail that comes out right at that pine tree there. And then to the left, of course, I don't want anybody to shoot because that's towards the house right there. So this window is probably no shooting at all, but this is all your shots right here. Oh, there is another deer trail uh, uh, that comes out right there too. So um, I put this in between two deer trails. So if you hunt out of this blind and a deer walk right here in front of the trail, that's what it's going to look like right there. That's what should happen, but with a deer. Luke is demonstrating for us what should happen if you hunt from this blind. <laughs> right behind the blind, is a, there's a deer trail that comes out from the woods right here. And it's going to come out right here next to the blind. There she is. The 4x4, four four, the single man, sportsman condo. Got the ladder all in. Got it all secured left and right. Got this back leg all anchored in. Got this, the uh, tie down on. All the legs are lag bolted in. That's the view out there to shoot from. The front's in, holes filled in. Oh, yeah, he came back to life. And that is done. <laughs>